Hey, what's going on guys? Sudith here again after quite a break with Elden Ring. Um, so some news about Elden Ring. As you can see, we're back in the opening cutscene again. So I am putting the Season 2 Exile Soldier cosplay run on pause for now. I still have the save file and we're still in the same spot as where I left it like 11 months ago. But I don't really feel like picking that one right up right now. Um, I want to get a file going now that it's been a while and i've really had some time to sit with elden ring nearly a whole year and just play this game the way i played dark souls 3 for you guys where i it's almost like a tutorial but not quite where i'm just showing you how i would play through the game although unlike that dark souls 3 one uh there won't be nearly as many technical issues this time and you should be able to do it or uh see everything this will be the first playthrough of Elden Ring where I do all bosses. That's what we were going to do on the Exile Soldier, so we're going to continue that. Um, the only type of things you guys won't be seeing in this playthrough will be things like grinding out like mushrooms underground for soap. I wouldn't actually need soap. but Or getting like volcanic stones for pots or whatever else. Trina Lilies for the Godskin duo. But if I feel like running to Kaelid as soon as we finish the tutorial to kill the dragon, you guys are going to see that this time. Because I feel like there's some value in players who don't play or haven't played very much seeing the way I approach the early parts of the game and where I get these things like smithing stones. Especially for us console players where like, for my consumable only run, there is no save stating unless I really want like a pain in my butt. So every attempt is a real 40 minutes of gathering. So maybe there would be some value in showing you guys where I go to gather this stuff. So that's the plan for this run, is to just go through, kill every single boss in the game, do it my way. I do know what weapon I want to use, and it's in Limgrave. We're going to get that pretty early. I'm going to make sure to use a normal smithing stone weapon, though, because I know somber stones is kind of an easy path. I think you can have a plus seven somber before your second lord if you run over to Caleb and then into Liernia. And I mean, a plus seven somber weapon at the start of the game, you just roll the entire thing. All right, I'm going to be quiet here for just a moment. Let this cutscene finish because I really like it. The ever brilliant. Deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all knowing. All right, so. It's been about a year since I've played Elden Ring. I uh, I got back on and made a TikTok or two, maybe and six to eight months that. ago, but it's been quite a while. Grace I just saw the 1.0 uh, updates for PvP and was like, ooh man, we should check that out. No so maybe I'll now. do that at some point as well, edit together some kind of uh, PvP video where it's less candid like these Let's Plays and I just clip like a couple good fights. I feel the like there could be some uh, entertainment in that. To the lands between. So as you see, we started here with Vagabond class, and I pretty much never, ever in my entire night. life have started as Vagabond, but for the weapon we're using, or Knight, or whatever, and Old Veteran, all of the, the like established Lord. classes that come with full plate and a heater shield, I almost never pick them. But in Elden Ring, I feel like 100% block shield is really crucial, and a couple of the classes just start you out with a decent heater shield. And so I went ahead and picked this one. Also, our stats are only going to be a couple points off with Vagabond from where we want our starting weapon. So the first thing I recommend doing if you're a Vagabond is lose your helmet and one of your weapons. Like I just did. So if you don't, when you start as Vagabond... I'll show you real quick. You'll fat roll. So that'll pretty much get you killed more frequently than it won't. Um, I'm gonna go HUDless for now. If coming back with, with no HUD is too difficult, then maybe I will turn the HUD back on. But I really like how clean this looks, and I don't really care that much if I die because I don't have the HUD on. I'm gonna give the spider a genuine attempt, though. Well, 
I doubt that we'll beat him, but we won't even be taking his uh, weapons if we do. If we do win, though, we will use that shield. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Now, the grafted enemies are some of the enemies that I never really got the hang of fighting. I think it's the whole, like, bullet hell nature of the way they swing. Oh, goodness. I could do better than that. What? <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty bad. Oh, well. You're supposed to lose to the spider. Let's scream. I guess I'll let um, this cutscene play as well. I normally skip this, but I'll let this go. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We I never noticed the burns hospital. on her fingers before. I guess I probably should have. It's like a key element to her character. They're all over the rest, like whenever you see the cutscene at the, um, the giant's forge. But... One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. I've probably started and completed Elden Ring 30 to 40 times now. Even and I skip that cutscene so frequently, I never knew that. Order. Okay. Enough. Enough. Enough of you. Thank you, lady. Um, where do I want heal? I guess we'll put heal on the right one. And we are going to run down here and murder uh, Soldier of Godric for his 800 souls or whatever it is. I'm hoping to get this entire playthrough done, all bosses, all 160 whatever, before the DLC comes out. I don't imagine that'll be very difficult at all. But I guess I more so mean like all of it out and edited before that. Oh, come on. There we go. Give him a little poke. I'm kind of hoping these little aristocrat guys will drop their garb. I don't know if they even can in here, though. And then we'll get shot at, of course. Now, normally I don't do this, um, aside from just running down here and really quickly murdering the um, soldier of Godric with a guard counter, because that's like all you do. So we'll actually get it going a little quicker. Now, I don't know how I feel about the armor, but once we grab our weapon from Limgrave, and honestly, this shield is fine. We may have, like, our equipment set for the entire run. I'm not certain there will be much more we'll need, and I... I think I'm just gonna pump strength. Show you guys the, the true power of 100% physical block and pumping strength. Wow, who is this guy? He's like six times stronger than all his buddies. Did you see that? Oh no, Soldier of Godric. Oh, I actually did mess it up. That's what I get for being arrogant against the Soldier of God, Rick. There we go. Nice. Ah, I don't know though, without the HUD on, you guys can't even see soul acquisitions. Not, be not being able to see boss health is kind of Eh. And not being able to see the souls I get is kind of eh. I didn't realize that you guys flat out couldn't see boss health bars either. I know I can't, but I guess I hadn't realized that either. Hmm. I 
I think it's more engaging for the audience if you can see the boss's health bar. So we're going to put it on auto. We're just going to grab that because we'll be coming back here later. Now for our starting gift, I took a uh, stone sword key. And we're going to use that in Lyernia to get the turtle ring. I don't think there's ever a build when I'm upset having more stam regen. And I missed the Grass Crest shield, and the Turtle shield doesn't have 100% block. I know Grass Crest didn't either, but like I said, in Elden Ring, there are some times when I feel like a 100% block shield is almost necessary. Obviously, you don't ever actually need one, but they're so helpful. I'm gonna let Varya talk. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without... If it didn't involve downloading the entire episode just to do it, when he said maidenless, I would love to add a vine boom effect there. It seems to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however... There is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me. Vare, are you familiar with Grace? The golden light you may Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm already bored. I can't listen to him. Vare is so cringe. <laughs> Forget him, dude. Let's grab this bonfire up here. Then first matter of business is to get our horse. Then a bleed weapon. Then we're going to get a gold foul foot. And then those will be the steps to kill the Kaelid dragon. We're not going to do that on camera. Um, at least not episode one. If I feel like doing that for levels this early, I'll bring you. I'll do that off camera and then uh, just show you guys where to get the tools to do it yourself. There's no need to watch me smack like a half-dead dragon for six minutes. We will be going over there at some point anyways to get the other half of them. Oh, okay. Then that needs to be changed. I was wondering which one... So when I first set up my Estus, I wasn't certain if I had Torrent or Estus, like, muscle memoried to write on the D-pad, but that right there just showed me that apparently it's Torrent, because I definitely was trying to call Torrent early there. We'll come back and talk to Santa Claus later. And we're just going to run over here. I know it's sit at like any three bonfires in Limgrave and uh, you'll get your meeting with Melina again, but this is the quickest way. I'm pretty sure this is how most people do it anyways. Lucky drop? No. I thought it was 800 souls. Maybe you have to murder every one of the, the little guys in there as well with the soldier. That's okay. We mostly did that so we can buy a crafting kit, though. Oh no, because I didn't rest at the uh, church of... Or I mean... Yeah, because I didn't rest, we won't get the most convenient timing for after this cutscene being able to fast travel back and then meeting with uh, Ronnie to get your bell. Hmm. That's conflicting. I might run back over there again, guys. But we'll kill a couple knights on the way to make it engaging. So the first thing we're going to grab of this playthrough is the flail then. And the flail is only going to serve the purpose of helping us kill the dragon in Kaled. Whoa, excuse you, dude. you have any friends around yet? Or is it just you? Oh, I forgot. No kick. There we go. We'll just get rid of him. Okay, so there's the flail. I don't think we can fast travel, can we? If we haven't rested? Maybe I'm wrong. The Dark Souls 3 style or not? Okay, it counts. Then we're good. Never mind, guys. It's been so long since I played this game, I even forgot how resting works. Then we're going to talk to Melina. Although this is becoming a very cutscene-heavy episode, so we're going to skip her dialogue. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what she says, watch any other playthrough on Earth or... Look up, like, Mel in a dialogue. I'm sorry, but I just I can't be bothered to sit and listen to her. 
They serve at you. I can play turning root We're just gonna accept. Go to the foot. Then it yep. summon me. Ah, I bequeath. It's just gonna give us the ring. That's the most important part of this interaction. Uh, okay, goodbye. Then you're gonna teleport back to the church, meet Rennie, and get your bell. Ooh, we should have grabbed the whetstone while we were at this the gate front. That's all right. We'll grab word. the gold foul foot while we're over here. A pleasure to meet thee, I am the whip. I'd heard and upon look the talk I thou art possessed to call forth. Ah, I was entrusted by torrents. Awesome. Thank you so much. Tis a summon them with the spirits will now it is thy. I think the only cool part of this is that she puts both of them to sleep. Like, that's what this this mist is. It's that purple sleep mist that comes out from, um... What's that sword in Kaled? Goodness, I can't remember. The silver sword in Kaled, St. Trina's sword, or the the sleep pots. Awesome, so now you have wolves. Well, now you have wolves and a horse, kind of, whatever Torn is. Goat something. Now we're going to talk to Santa and we're going to buy a crafting kit. And we don't need any of those. Then with our crafting kit, after we talk to Santa, we're going to head back to spawn and jump right off the cliff. And then we're going to grab our gold foul foot from there. Once we have our gold foul foot, we'll probably go past the gate front, go grab that weapon of ours, and then pick some random boss and kill it for episode one. Well, yeah, that'll work. Fun fact, by the way, guys, you don't actually need to even get close to pinpoint landing that. You can just throw yourself right off the side. Now, rather than ride all the way up, we're just going to get far enough away to lose enemy aggro and we're going to teleport back up. You know what? If we have enough for a short bow, this is also an excellent time to do that. Oh, we don't. We're 300 shy. What can we sell? Our foot? No, not going to happen. Nope. Goodbye, cat. Alright. This leaves us with plenty of time to go get a boss. So let's grab that map, get that whetstone, go pick on some tiny early game boss. I can show you guys how to get the Bloodhound's Fang, which is a hard carry weapon. Anytime I feel like blitzing through the game, I'll grab the Bloodhound's Fang. So I'll show you all how to do that. Oops. Really shouldn't have let that happen. <laughs> oh well, we're going to get mobbed here. I still want that whetstone. Now, I know I said I'm going to pump strength, but we are going to need one point in dexterity for the weapon that we want. So we will be leveling dex one time. And then it's pretty much going to be vigor and endurance from then on out, other than strength. So then for, um, if we want, yeah, this is perfect. We head this way now, we'll go down to the forest to get that nighttime encounter with Blyde. And that'll allow us to go get the Bloodhound's Oi. Fang. You, you there. I actually will Did let Bok talk out, because Kylie? he's fun. Melina, I, I can't be bothered, and Vare's Miyazaki's cringe self-insert, but Bach is cool. You? I'll let Bach talk. Oh. oh, yes. I remember. Some Claude turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bach. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky. Poor Bach. Oh, when they we should help him. Hope. Plus, he gives us the tailor's oh, kit. And mushrooms. Think. Right. Uh, I'm... Okay. Well, come on. There we go. Hopefully, the knight's cavalry isn't too heinous right here. But we want that smithing stone. Oh, good. He's facing backwards. Nice. Oh, we're just gonna do that. Yep. See you later. Oh, if we had a longer stamina bar. 
That's right, though. We're going to cut corners here by the demi-human trap. Pretty sure this is just, like, nothing. Glass shard string. But now I want it. Now I'm going to take your stuff and leave. <laughs> one gold rune, one. I like the demi-humans. They're funny little guys. Cat is going crazy today, guys. He cannot decide if he wants to be in or out of my room. All right. We're getting close to out of time, so let's hurry up and grab this. Talk to Blight and get that boss fight. Uh, I guess we won't be able to talk to Blight and get the boss fight. Hmm. All right, let's talk to Blyde. We'll bum rush that first cave and I'll beat up that watchdog. That's what we'll do here. We'll get that first towel from Blyde. There it is. I get a little closer. Okay, definitely hurt us now. You know what? There actually is enough time, I think. We're just going to do that. Because I really I really think the Bloodhound's Fang is worth it. We're going to talk to you. Wait. Well, you're back. Ah, I suppose. Next time you don't fry just that. All right. Good. So then we're going to take this. Change this for the finger snap. Travel back to the Mistwood outskirts. And I'll grab that map as well, probably, as we ride through to get blind this time. Would you like to come in, Lucky? No? Okay. Um, it kind of looks as if it may become day, so I'm going to rest and make it night, because we really don't want to ride over there, and then it be daytime past time until nightfall. Cool. Now, for the second episode, we're going to get a couple boss fights in. We'll get our weapon, and then I don't know what we'll do. I feel like showing you guys where to get some spirit summons would be pretty useful, because no matter what like try-hard people say, spirit summons are a totally valid part of the game, and I promise you From Software is going to balance the DLC with spirit summons in mind. So, readying yourself to play with spirit summons when you're like really down and out is pretty useful so i'll show you guys where to get the stuff for that and how to get a couple good ones oh who goes there we'll Can let I him talk to you ever the bloody busybody hmm maybe to him you don't seem so strange the name's blythe i'm looking for a man who goes by darrowell he fled somewhere nearby or so i've heard come tell me if you i can offer you all right. And in need of now we are going to go. I guess this would be the best spot. We're gonna go fight Darewell with Blyde. He's gonna give us a somber smithing stone too, and a pretty sweet weapon. Now it is an ever jail fight, so that thing that I just said about how spirit summons are useful, that doesn't apply to this fight. But if you have Blyde helping you, it is certainly a lot easier than doing it yourself. We're also going to grab one more smithing stone. If I take the... Uh, I'll take the left way. I'll take the left way. I debated going the other way, but this is fine. Plus, we can grab the bonfire at the edge of the lake. And at some point, we'll need to go to Weeping Peninsula, or you'll want to. So this is a good spot to have, really. So we're just going to ride straight across. If you get too close over there to those stone structures, you'll summon Ag Heal, who can be annoying. Ag Heal is definitely one of the easier from soft dragons when I think about him. Our goal is to get up there on that hill. But at low level with no upgrades, he can be kind of tough. Just like, honestly, Darewill may kill us in this one attempt just because we're so squishy. If he hits us like two times in a row, we'll probably pop a bleed. But I haven't been a Vagabond in a while. Armor may keep us from 
from bleeding like that. We're just going to ride past these guys up here. These worms are usually good indications of Everjails. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be like guardians or maintaining the spell or what's going on here, but we're just going to enter the Forlorn Hound Everjail. This isn't the weapon I'm going to be using for the playthrough. However, this is a weapon that I recommend most people using if you ever have like difficulty with Elden Ring. Now, honestly, you could just turtle shield like, or shield turtle rather. Darrowin. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. There's not much no. the Bloodhound Knight can do to you. This is where it especially with Blight around. Ah, oh, unfortunate. We'll heal up just to be safe. Oh, we didn't get either of the parries that, or I mean criticals that we could have gotten because of Blight. Them being really arrogant. That's okay. We're gonna punish him for that. This dude's a weapon art spammer. Input reading. <laughs> I love that if I go to pull out the flask, he'll uh Oh wait. Man, Blood did all the heavy lifting, but that's exactly what I was telling you guys about. get a cool couple thousand souls not very many smithing stone blood man he really does just dominate that fight i didn't do like anything at all i'll be glad to get rid of this halberd maybe i should uh should have been using the long sword oh well <sighs> right we'll listen to him and then we'll finish there off here are. and i'll be seeing you guys next time it, next monday for episode two I'm not a man of my word. and hopefully i'll be seeing you wednesday Thank for you. variety slash stray awesome oh yes I should say, if you venture north to Rea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And be sure to treat you right. <laughs> I, 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 I wish I didn't like all the NPCs associated with Ronnie so much, but they're all pretty fun. All right, guys, that's been it for episode one of, I guess what I'm going to title season three of the Elden Ring Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.